Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Sung Kim. I'm a board certified oral and maxillofacial radiologist. In today's video, we are going to look at patient's left condyle or TMJ joint in CBCT scan. So take a moment to um, look at patient's left TMJ joints. This panoramic radiograph was taken about four years ago, back in 2015. Uh, whereas a comb beam was taken just uh, today, August 9th of 2019. So there is a difference of four years, just keep that in mind. Um, so any major bony changes could be due to uh, the time difference. But for, for, the, uh, for the sake of, of learning and visualizing TMJ joint, uh, I hope you can get something out of this video. So here we can see the cor uh, coronoid notch and the condylar neck and the cortication of the condyle leading into the posterior border of the ramus and the angle of the mandible. So in this particular scan or panoramic image, the outline of the condyle is very round and appears corticated and intact. Uh, and overall, this condyle looks normal. We don't see any signs of flattening and it looks great. So the question is, how does this condyle show up in CBC, in a CBCT scan, excuse me. So now let's take a look. There we go. So here we have a beautiful limited field of view scan of patient's left TMJ. So why don't I scroll through the sagittal section? Because this looks very much like what we saw in the panoramic radiograph. Well, before I do that, let's quickly take a look at the condyle in this 3D rendering view, right? All right, okay, now having done that, let's scroll through the sagittal section. In this case, more than anything, I just want you to see how two-dimensional image from panoramic radiograph translates to three-dimensional imaging and how it appears and how much more details of the trabecular bone and the cortical outline of the condyle that you can see along with the overall shape of the glenoid fossa and articular eminence. Not to mention there's a lot of other structures that ha is captured at the edge of the scan, right here. Someday I would like to go over uh, these anatomic features captured here, but for the time being, today we're just going to look at TMJ joint or the left condyle. Let's look at this coronal, corrected coronal view. So what I've done is I've rotated the condyle so that we're looking at the uh, facial or coronal view of the patient's left condyle. Okay, so just a beautiful uh, continuous and intact cortication of the left condyle can be seen. Here's the glenoid fossa, interarticular joint space, Then the trabecular details of this trabecular pattern is captured in this scan, and this is the axial view. So this is where the top of the joint moving inferiorly. So here we're starting to see the condyle. Again, the shape of the condyle can be seen. Again, this is something uh, you cannot get on panoramic radiograph, right? There we go. Now we're at the level of the condylar neck going back up. One thing that you might notice is there's a lot of other structures that's captured here, right? There is a radiolucent channel that is going superiorly and now moving horizontally. What is that, right? And um, again, what are these opaque entities? That's something uh, that we, we I would really like to review uh, in the future. Okay, but uh, 
I just want to point out that we can, using a CBCT scan, capture a beautiful visualization of the patient's condyle. Why is this helpful? Well, at times, patient may complain of TMJ joint pain, right? But from panoramic radiograph, you just don't have that detail uh, in order to pick up early arthritic changes, but with Combim CT, with this much of detail that we can see, yes, we can detect, absolutely detect, uh, early signs of arthritic changes, right? Um, but keep in mind, not all Combim CTs can produce this type of image. It does need to be a limited field of view CBCT scan, not a large field of view that may capture the entire patient's head. When you do that, you lose the spatial resolution or the details of the uh, condylar image. So that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, I hope that this was fun and interesting, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.